what was it like when you transferred between clubs? Was it easy transition with, say, personalities, managers, agents? We know some interesting ones, yeah. yeah. Some some <laughs> last minute, really last minute. Like the Bristol Rovers one, last minute. I knew nothing of it. Rochdale, Steve Parkin pulled me in, sat down on a table like this. Um, transfer deadline day, it was about 12 o'clock, and he went, Bristol Rovers coming for you. We've accepted it. We... we um, we think you should go. It's like Bristol Rovers. It's like what? And he was like, because I was trying to negotiate a, a contract with Rochdale as well, out, and he was being stubborn. So he was, we were kind of, and I was being stubborn. <clears throat> so my contract was probably gonna come out. I was gonna leave, or I wasn't sure what was happening with Rochdale. So did well there as well, didn't you, Rochdale? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I enjoyed Rochdale. So he was like, you can get this amount of money, this play is gone, that's how much like um the they're offering. Um so I was like I just I'll speak to Paul Trollope, I'll speak to Lenny Lawrence and I'll just see what what's what here. But I wasn't thinking I was gonna go. And as I got speaking more and more, it was more Lenny. So have you have you got an agent at this point sat with you or are you So I had been again I got a letter, so at Macclesfield, I was just getting into the first team, and this letter got put to everyone on on a bus on the coach. And I opened it, and it was like um, introducing themselves as the, these agents. So I just rang up, wanted to be my agent. Knew nothing of anything, mm. honestly. That side of it didn't didn't know anything. So <clears throat> I went with them. It was a couple of brothers. In Allerton, where he's in Liverpool, um, and they completely done me over, like, completely done me over, mm. like robbed all my money, like took me signed on fee what I got from Macclesfield to go to Stockport, got thirty. Oh, grand. that far back, right? Okay. Uh, they took that, and then I got with another agent again, tried to do me over. Were they structuring deals in their favour then, were they, or like? Yeah, massively, right. yeah. Okay. And so, not yeah. obviously not telling you. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and Carton tried to warn me about them, actually. Right, okay. Carton said, Ricky, you need to watch out for these. Because these are... Um, Bandits. Yes, <laughs> basically. And it t- yeah. paid no attention. Because I thought the agents were looking after me. And I was like, oh, you would say that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, when I look <laughs> back, I was, I was 20. I didn't have a clue. So, by this time, my mate... Thomas Byrne, who I was a YTS with, was be- becoming an agent. I went, Thomas, be- become my agent, mate, because I don't trust any of these. By the time Rista Rover came into me, uh, I was with Thomas, who was very new, and he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't have a clue. And Lenny Lawrence got onto the phone to me and said, who have you got as your agent? <laughs> I was like, it's me, mate, Thomas. <laughs> 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 oh, Thomas, uh, Thomas is one of the best agents in the country by right now. By the oh, way, so cool. Yeah. Um, I bet Lenny's Lawrence's eyes lit up. 